What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Aquarius sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of January 20th and February 18th, then you are Aquarius sun sign and this video is for you. I blinked and I missed it and now October's over. Can you believe it? How fast did that go? <laughs> At least for me it went by quickly, but that means that Halloween and Samhain are upon us. And uh, we're getting into this festive mood. We've been doing it all month. We're going to continue here today. Instead of the month ahead readings for November, we're going to be doing the Halloween or Samhain spread. And this is a reading that basically it takes a snapshot of the present current energy surrounding you. And it gives you an idea of uh, what you're doing well, what you need to work on, and which direction you need to start heading into in, in the future so it's, it's a fun reading it's not as dark as our past readings this month uh, I've got some crystal friends first I've got my black obsidian skull his name is Archibald and uh, he's gonna help us make sure that we're willing to look at the shadow today you know there might be a little shadow investigation so he'll be around for that I also brought a Scarlet Temple Lemurian these crystals are fantastic they're very high vibe but they also are very grounding uh, it's it's pretty crazy <laughs> uh, the energy of those things so that, that's what it's gonna help us with and uh, yeah I think without further ado let's start this reading the first card we're gonna look at is this one uh, I'm calling it the life card and it represents what to celebrate at this time of Halloween or Samhain for my Aquarian friends and we've got the King of Wands I think this card is saying that, did I say celebrate? I meant what to embrace, sorry. <laughs> Maybe the text at the screen uh, will clear that up. What to embrace. Uh, and I think what this card is saying is you need to embrace uh, that go get them attitude. That let's get things done attitude. That now's my time to shine. Let's put in work. Let's put in energy attitude. Uh, I don't know what the past energies have been surrounding you, but I think at this time of Halloween or Samhain, I think you really need to start uh, intensifying your actions. What actions can you take in the present moment that's going to make a better future? Uh, and part of this, I think, is listening to your intuition. I think your, your ego mind will tell you actions and your intuition will tell you different actions. If I had to choose between the two, I'd choose intuition every single time. Uh, so that's just me, though. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think now is the time to really embrace the idea that it's time to take action. Not that you haven't been taking action before, Aquarian friends, but now is a really time to intensify your focus on that. This is a general reading, so I don't know what action you should take particularly, but uh, take some action. <laughs> Alright, this card here is the Death card, and it represents what to let go of this Halloween or Samhain. And we've got the Devil. Okay, Aquarian friends, we all have some negative energy surrounding us, and I think... Uh, you know, this goes without saying, but it's what the cards are telling me. This Halloween or Samhain, I think it's very important that you kind of... Look at your negative attachments. We all have negative attachments, whether it's to food, to clothes, to cars, to money, to people, to activities that are destructive. We all have these attachments to things that are necessarily in our highest good. Uh, and I think what you really should focus on this Halloween is, is how you can move away from some of them. We're not going to move away from all of our negative attachments at once. It's a lifelong process. But uh, pick one, I think, this season and, and see if you can't distance yourself from something that you know is not serving you. Something that is maybe addictive, something that is destructive, something that is negative that you do regularly. And, uh, you know, one thing at a time, obviously, but that's the feeling I'm getting here is that you should let go of some of those things, <laughs> okay? And again, I, I can't be specific. Maybe some of you are smokers or drinkers or overeaters or you binge watch Netflix or you kick dogs in the streets. You got to get rid of one of those things. <laughs> I don't know what you do. Um, I hope you better not be kicking dogs. If I find out you're kicking dogs, oh, <laughs> I'm going to be mad. Anyway, let's move on over to this card, which represents your courage, what you've been doing well, how you've been courageous. And we've got the Three of Wands. You know, the, to me, this is saying like plans being put into motion. I think that's kind of generally the Three of Wands. Uh, so I think you've been very good at maybe initiating things. You know, I talked about the King of Wands or 
yeah, King of Wands asking you to put more action into stuff. I think you've been really good at getting things started and kicking things off the ground. Uh, though now may be a time to really put in effort, you know, in the next step, the next phase. But you've been really good about starting things. And, you know, whenever you start new things, you're, you're opening yourself up to new possibilities, right? You're, you're exploring new avenues, which creates growth. So this is very good. You've been very courageous in that respect in starting new things and, and doing the initial work. But I do think now's the time to put in the the subsequent work, you know? All right, let's move on over here. This card represents your fears, Aquarian friends. And we've got the Empress. Oh, interesting. Uh, the feeling I'm getting from this is fearing too much attention. Does that make any sense? Hopefully it makes sense to you. Do you fear having too much attention? Maybe too, too many people looking at you, too many people depending on you, too many people uh, analyzing you, scrutinizing you. But, you know, this is more, I'm getting more of like worship. You know, these people are almost like worshiping this high priestess. But maybe you fear connecting with people too deeply, possibly. Uh... It's kind of the weird feeling I'm getting. Does any of that ring true to you? I'm not sure exactly, but that is the, the gist I'm getting from this card. Why do you fear that? Uh, ask yourself, why do you fear the admiration of others? If this resonates, why would you fear that? I'm uh, not really sure why, but maybe you have a better idea, <laughs> okay? All right, let's move on over to this card. This card represents what to celebrate at this time of year. Aquarian friends, and we've got the Three of Cups, or Three of Chalices. Ah, I think this card is saying celebrate your community, celebrate your family, celebrate your connection with other people. You can't go all on your own, okay? No, try as you might, being on your own is, is, it can be difficult sometimes. And yes, there's drawbacks to being part of a group or part of a community. Sure, there's drawbacks to everything, but there's also very, very distinct advantages to having a support group, to having people to depend on. And I think you should be grateful for those people. You know, you may have a small circle of friends and family and that's fine. That's great because those people are going to be super dependable, right? You've handpicked those. You've hand chosen these select few. If you have a big group of people, then, you know, they have a lot of options. So uh, either way, I think there's a lot to be grateful for. Uh, so basically recognize your tribe, recognize your place in it, in your community, and be grateful and, and show gratitude and celebrate it. Celebrate it and celebrate with other people too. <laughs> you know, have some fun. Let loose a little bit this this Samhain season. <laughs> This last card here represents what to contemplate at this time, my Aquarian friends. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting the sense of finances from this. Uh, have you been contemplating about your finances recently? Um, I think what really this message from this card is that uh, I think you need to contemplate the way that you make money. Is it truly and utterly in alignment with what your life's purpose is. I know that's a big loaded question, okay? But uh, it's something to think about, right? Is, is what I'm doing right now going to get me to my ultimate dreams? Not the dreams that society has told me that I wanna have with you know a picket, white picket fence and 2.5 kids in the suburbs, right? Not that dream necessarily, but your ultimate dream. Like if you could picture yourself anywhere and anything on this planet, what would that be? And then this card is asking you to contemplate, you know, the work that you're putting in, is that going to get you there? Not necessarily money, though that's just the way society is set up. We spend most of our time trying to get money, so therefore you should analyze how you're spending most of your time. You see what I'm trying to say? So just make sure it's in alignment with what your goals are. And if not, you know what to do. Make a little tweak, <laughs> okay? So now that we've seen the cards as a whole, I'm not picking up uh, on a major theme here, although sense of community and togetherness seems to be on the agenda. Uh, I get the feeling that maybe you've been feeling like you gotta do things on your own, possibly, for some of you. And uh, that doesn't have to be the case. Um, just be sure that right now is a, is a great time to really put in energy, put in work. It seems like you've got the energy to do so. So why not spend it doing something that's going to, you know, further you on your path. Um, 
you need to re release some sort of negative attachment and I don't you know what that is you know what your your biggest negative attachment is make some steps you know small steps are uh, just as good as huge strides right it doesn't matter what the time frame is as long as you're taking steps towards removing those uh, those attachments that aren't serving you uh, you're, you're really good at starting new things and getting the ball rolling and having and taking the initiative and, and starting stuff up so keep going with that uh, it seems like you're fearful of maybe too much attention this card I was a little bit iffy on but uh, you can let me know in the comment section if that made any sense uh, celebrate your family be grateful for the group that surrounds you no matter how big or how small and uh, definitely think about what you do on a daily basis and how that's bringing you closer to your ultimate dreams all right aquarium friends did that make sense I sure hope so. Uh, that was a general reading. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can head on over to my website, lightofriga.com. The link is in the description box below. Uh, be sure to do all the YouTube stuff, the liking, the sharing, the commenting, the subscribing, all those things. It really helps this channel, and I really do appreciate your interactions, so thank you for that. And I think that's it. So I want to thank you all for watching. I want to wish you a happy and safe Halloween and Samhain. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.